Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Good evening again, everyone. There it is. The color to the west here. This is this is a fire weather watch and a red flag warning for Oregon it comes right up to the uh, border of Idaho here and you have the watch or the warning for something. It could be dry conditions like last week in eastern Idaho, but this is for lightning specifically. Dry lightning could spark wildfires and if so, they could spread rapidly because of the conditions because there'll be gusty wind along with that and it comes right up to the Idaho border, but the threat for thunderstorms could go right along the border into southwest Idaho and then wind is going to come roaring out of these storms tomorrow evening and probably hit the entire Treasure Valley with gusts over 40 and maybe over 50 in some locations. So just I want you to prepare for that. Most of the day it's sunny and then here comes that wind out of the middle of nowhere. It will seem right now cloud cover and storms beginning to form here and these will continue to track up to the north and the east and they won't have as much of a, a bite to them, but we'll bring some cloud cover over and then that will shift further north and then eventually east as we go into the day Tuesday and on Wednesday the still a threat as well as his energy coming out of this low pressure system rotating around our high pressure system. There's also heat coming on in and we're going to be seeing that heat even hotter tomorrow by a few degrees. It's getting hot now, but nothing compared to what is going to be happening next week. This is again an extended forecast. I'm going to show you that I haven't seen in years the heat that we're talking about. All right, let's take a look at the cloud cover kind of drifting overhead overnight. Here's tomorrow morning and we're going to have a lot of sunshine. There'll be high clouds maybe streaming by from time to time. But whenever a future cast shows this, a cluster like this, which shows a what would be a strong storm. That's a sign that you have the potential for supercell thunderstorms and the atmosphere is going to be primed for that. And there's a marginal risk for severe weather leaking right into Idaho from just west of Boise. I'm going to show you that coming up. So there's likely to be a storm or a cluster of storms roaring to the north and there's only a 20% chance maybe of it hitting you, but the wind is going to come rushing out of that and just roar right through the Treasure Valley tomorrow evening. And I think wind gusts could even hit 60 miles miles per hour, the potential is there. So we're going to keep an eye on this. Then they're to the north, 9 o'clock tomorrow night, maybe pushing through Valley County, and then we clear out overnight. We get some sunshine again on Wednesday, but during the afternoon, the cloud cover could come in, and we may see a few more showers and storms trying to form during the day on Wednesday. So this is what the Severe Storms Forecast Center is for forecasting for that marginal risk, which is again pretty impressive for the West to have this, and it sneaks into Idaho the first time in a while, so we need to watch our Western Valley here for the potential for that severe weather wind over 58 miles per hour would do that. This is what concerns me right here is the wind gust showing up on this future cast. Everything's fine. There's no wind during the day and then all of a sudden a wall of wind comes roaring through with a gust front with gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour. So the potential is there. It's going to get windy tomorrow evening. So keep that in mind. And then on Wednesday, there's a potential for some more wind coming on in. As far as the McCall area goes, uh, nice conditions now, but keep in mind everybody could get wind tomorrow tomorrow and Wednesday, so watch out for the potential for some severe weather coming on in into the higher elevations. Here's my extended forecast. Treasure Valley tomorrow, 98 degrees, 20% chance of thunderstorms, and 80 to 90% chance of strong wind tomorrow. 95 Wednesday, 96 on Thursday. Okay, here we go. Over the weekend, 100 degrees, 106 on Monday, and if you think that's hot, look at this. 106 Monday, 108 Tuesday, 107 105. This is an impressive looking heat wave, folks, one that we haven't seen in some time. We're going to be keeping a close eye on this. Karen?